So this is um, slide number three, and we will start with the positioning school. Design school, we have all kinds of possible strategies as an outcome. Basically, everything was allowed. Okay? Yes? Um, yes? That's, yes? Is it, is it clear? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, now, we are going to the positioning school. In the positioning school, which is ba made, uh, uh, basically devised by Porter, there are very few strategic, strategic positions. Do you remember when you look at, at, at Porter's five forces, the, the result, the, 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 the strategic positions which you could have? Do you remember that? Possible strategy position, focus, differentiation, cost focus. Let's see how they put it in this. Just a second. do something which is, we are, we are at the positioning school, but I don't have a pencil, it's all of that. Yeah. yeah, okay. In the positioning school, green is, is what they, the point of departure is a little bit different. And here we have what is called competitive. This is concurrent преимущество. Scope. Uh, Scope means basically you reach out far. Right? Mm -hmm. Scope is reaching out far. Yeah? Um, you have on this on this axis you have a competitive scope, and on this uh, 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 axis you have a competitive advantage. Lower cost, low cost, and high cost. Here you have broad, broad scope. Narrow scope. Okay. Broad scope means that you have possibly a wide range of products. Narrow scope means that you are very specialized. You don't, you don't have a very wide product range. And now, according, according to, you could, you could have, you have several boxes here. You have, you have one box which is determined by low cost and broad scope. And on, the, and on the other extreme, you have high cost and narrow scope. And according to the analysis of Porter, and he wrote the two famous books, which you probably Either you read all the books. One is called a competitive advantage. Одна называется конкурентное преимущество. And they were written in 1980 and 1985. Exactly when the planning school was going into crisis. Как раз тот момент, когда школа планирования приходила в упадок. 
and we have here cost, and, and in this league we have costly cost leadership. This is what he analyzed according, and this is the result of his analysis when he looked at this. Uh, uh, so then if you have the box low cost, narrow scope, this is These are the, the <coughs> these are Porter's generic strategies. And basically, you don't have any alternatives to these to these um, um, to these um, positions. Because because um, because it's according to Porter, it's not possible to do both. You cannot be a cost leader. And on the same time, um, as one, um, um, try to be differentiated. Because if you have if you have cost leadership, you take economies of scope. Поскольку, если вы лидер по издержкам, это означает, scale, это означает, что а, вы используете эффект от масштаба. Yes, you have, you have economies, you have economies of scale. Um, economies of scale basically means imagine you have a big factory and you pro, you produce in, 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 in high in high production numbers. You have high numbers of production. Масштаба бывает в крупных организациях, когда вы производите товар, продукт в огромных количествах. And as you and as you are, and as you are you are focused on on, on cost and the production of large numbers, right? И в этот момент, когда вы сфокусированы на производстве большого количества изделий, that's your specialty focus. Это ваша специализация. You adopt a, a cost structure which is rather inflexible. У вас достаточно неизменчивая структура организационная. So, so therefore, it will be different. It is impossible. You cannot do the same thing, two things at the same time. Differentiation is not possible in this situation. В этой ситуации вы не можете одновременно применять также и стратегию дифференциации. Это просто невозможно. Because differentiation means that. What the word says is that you have something different from the from the from the um, uh, from the um, uh, from from your competitors. Потому что смысл стратегии дифференциации заключается в том, что вы производите товар отличный от товара, производимого вашими конкурентами. Differentiation would be like you you serve a higher marketing market segment. Например, дифференциация это обслуживание высок определенного сегмента рынка. So, for instance, luxury cars. That's the differentiation. So, a, a, a producer of, of, of luxury cars has a different cost structure than a producer of mass producer of small cars. То есть, в зависимости от того, какие товары вы будете производить, будет ли это роскошные машины или массовое производство автомобилей, вы будете применять соответствующие стратегии. And then you have the narrow, the, and then you have on the narrow axis you have you have cost you have cost focus, which means. На сегменте масштаба есть фокусирование на издержках и на нижний квадрант. You you define you 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 look for a market market niche narrow market niche. А вы ищете узкий сегмент рынка нишу. And you and you compete on price competition. И здесь вы конкурируете за счет цены. Alternatively, you compete on you are in a market niche and you compete on differentiation. Или в то же время вы находитесь в той 
же низкой нише, в том же низком сегменте, но вы конкурируете за счет э, финансации. А вы производите какие-то товары, отличные от товаров ваших конкурентов. Space, и это делает вашу позицию на рынке уникальной по сравнению с конкурентами. Yes, с другой стороны, ваши товары в таком случае будут более дорогими, но клиент должен это понимать и принимать. So you can, you can это основные генерические стратегии по портеру. Если вы попытаетесь найти какую-то стратегию а, посередине, то а, вы будете в такой ситуации, которую, вы попадете в ситуацию, которую Портер называл сидеть между двумя стульями. Когда вы производите такие товары, как автомобили, вы осуществляете большие вложения, большие инвестиции, и очень трудно потом сменить свое переориентирование производства. Это как большой корабль, какой-то большой танкер. And once the super tanker has taken up speed, right, it takes, it's very difficult to change course and it is and it's very difficult to stop the whole thing just runs. This is, this is like, like a smaller boat which, um, which is more flexible, which can turn and stop and accelerate, but it cannot transport, uh, it, uh, it, 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 it does not have such a high transport. А стратегия дифференциации можно сравнить с небольшой лодкой, которая а, может легко менять свое направление и подстраиваться под окружающие обстоятельства. Если использовать этот пример с лодками, то по портеру невозможно построить а, маленькую большую лодку с небольшой емкостью. Yes, then... Невозможно совместить эти две стратегии одновременно. Либо у вас большой танк, либо у вас небольшая, но маневренная лодка. But then you have also the competitive score. This means that you that you compete in a narrow segment of the market. Yeah? Uh, есть еще и по оси ординат уровень конкурентного масштаба. Это будет либо широкий масштаб, либо узкий масштаб. Масштаб здесь по отношению к тому, чем вы занимаетесь в деятельности компании. Масштаб целой компании. Здесь много значений. 
Например, уровень вертикальной интеграции нашей компании. Тогда ваш масштаб в этом смысле, он будет широким. У вас различные виды деятельности. If you only have, if you're not vertically integrated, if you're just, if you are, if you're disintegrated, right? And if you're not vertically integrated in your company, and you're just doing the process of processing, then you are, then you are, you have a rather narrow scope. Then 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 you have a rather narrow scope. If you have a network of phones, you know this, this is the network model. Firms are networks. And they are kind of not everybody, but they are linked to each other, right? Right? It could be like it is it, it goes from development to, to production, right? And you sit somewhere in here, highly specialized то мы видим, что есть процесс разработки, есть процесс производства. Если другие участники процессов знают вас, и вы высоко специализированный специалист, то есть вы разбираетесь в какой-то конкретной области, то это будет эффект узкого масштаба. Это будет узкий масштаб. And then you can either compete on, on because your, your basis of competition is because you're lower, uh, your costs, your prices are lower. You can either compete on the results of the lowest prices. Yes, or because you do something which the others can't do. Or you do something that is unique, which no one can do. And and therefore and therefore your 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 cost uh, uh, you, you you charge higher prices but your customers you have to pay more more price. Your customers have to accept it because they you are the only one who's doing it. Our clients are aware of this and they don't take it because they don't want to be the only one who's doing it. And again, this is these are the competitive strategies and these are basically the only strategies which you can run for uh, to Porter. Существуют только такие четыре стратегии, и нельзя придумать ничего нового, по мнению Портера. И Портер, давайте начнем двигаться немного через эти слайды. В школе планирования и в школе дизайна, которые мы уже рассмотрели, практически нет ограничений по числу возможно применяемых стратегий. А в школе позиционирования, как мы видим сейчас на примере, на доске, существует только четыре ключевые стратегии, которые мы можем применить в данном месте, в данное время. To make a selection between between these possible strategies. The company has the choice. What kind of strategy do you use? But Porter says that they have to make a choice. No, but for some Porter, that choice is to be made. Because otherwise, they will be sitting between all chairs. What he says. Otherwise, the company will be sitting between two chairs. So they have to choose between the choice of the strategy. So again, the decision which which strategy you want to follow is 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 the result of a deliberate process. So again, the decision which which strategy you want to follow. Is a result of deliberate process. Process of making decisions on the basis of strategy depends on your personality. And this this is this is a decision which is taken by the president. The decision is made by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And this is taken by the president of the company. And um, and it, and and like what what I said in the previous schools, the strategy formation should be controlled. И как и в других школах, процесс формирования стратегии нужно контролировать. 
So basically, you can see that you can see the positioning school and order of a result of the problem of the previous school uh, schools uh, with uh, of the other schools, uh, the, the planning and design. А, таким образом, школа позиционирования и теории, которые предложил Майкл Портер, выступили а, в результате несостоятельности двух предыдущих теорий, а, школа дизайна и школа планирования, которые на тот момент, а, ну, то есть 70-80-е годы, они уже казались несостоятельными. And the, and, the, and the result, and the result of, of the experience which people made with these previous schools. И как результат опыта, который люди получили uh, с предыдущими школами. And Porter, Porter wrote a book. Uh, Porter yeah. написал uh, учебник, написал книгу, учебник. And it was quickly adapted in the academic world. И эта книга была быстро адаптирована в научных округах. And manager also, also liked it because um, it was easy to understand. И многим менеджерам она очень понравилась, потому что она была легка в восприятии. It was, it, it it она была очень логичная. Поэтому школа позиционирования получила очень широкое распространение. Study, study this this, so И как really мы видим, uh, в результате этого многие знают, Практически все знают о данной модели Портера, о стратегиях Портера. So in the design school, if we compare them again, если опять мы вернемся к сравнению школ, в школе дизайна, the focus is on development of new and integrated strategic perspective. А в школе дизайна а, основной фокус а, находится на развитие интегрированных и необычных уникальных uh, стратегий. So we basically we see we as 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 I said in in the morning as we said in the morning we look out of the windows and based on на окружающие обстоятельства мы выглядываем из окна. And based on what we see we design our strategy. И в зависимости от того, что мы видим, мы разрабатываем нашу стратегию. In the planning school this is further developed. А в школе планирования было более подробно развит этот подход. And then we see very И мы увидели, насколько сложен процесс планирования в этой школе. And as a result, also very complicated graphs, И мы видели те сложные графики, которые с ним чертили. Мне даже почти не хватало доски для того, чтобы их нарисовать. Right. And, um, and but the focus is on specification of coordinated set of plans. То есть важно, чтобы все планы были скоординированы между собой. So you you plan you coordinate the financial plan, you coordinate the financial uh, plan, the research and development plan, план развития и разработок, the operative plans, операционный план. Um, This is this has to be uh, closely coordinated. You draw a plan and then it is executed. Сначала вы тщательно разрабатываете всевозможные планы, а затем нужно следовать in the positioning school again there is a the focus is on a, on, on, on a coordinated sets of plans. Focus on различных планов. But the process is not open-ended. Но этот процесс не открыт. Yes, yes. Мы не знаем заранее, мы не знаем конечного результата. So the planning school did not basically they did not say where you have to go. В школе планирования неизвестно заранее, куда ты приходишь. But in the position school, this is they 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 postulate that this is where you have to go. А в школе позиционирования мы видим четыре исхода. Четыре точки, в которые надо прийти. Какая из этих стратегий? Вы проведете анализ своего отрасли. Вы разработаете план, зная, что вы должны прийти к одной из четырех заранее определенных стратегий. So again, to subsume strategies are generic and identifiable positions in the marketplace. 
подведем итоги, эти стратегии называются генерическими, и они определяют позицию фирмы на рынке. Предполагается, что рынок очень конкурентен. And, um, and, and, and the strategy formation is a result of an analytical calculation. And based out of that, you have full, full blown, full strategies, fully defined strategies. И в результате есть четыре полностью разработанные стратегии, которые надо будет донести до сотрудников фирмы, и затем они будут выпущены. Сначала нашей лекции. Mystic, um, mystic, um, Загадочный, человеку по имени Сун Цзин. You have, you need a position in the marketplace, like in military, right? На рынке, как и в военном искусстве, вашей компании нужно занять определенное место. So depending on your competitive situation. В зависимости от вашей конкурентной ситуации. And the strength of your adversaries. И сил ваших противников. You have to act in certain, certain ways. Again, generic strategies. Huh? Now I'm not going over, uh, through all of them, but you can see them, right? right? So when you are, what? Do you want to, do you want to translate it? You understand it, huh? It takes too long. That's. Um, Let's, uh, let's uh, not, uh, because you, you understand more or less for the message. Um, so when, when there's only, when you are to ten times more than, the, than your enemy surround him, right? And if the, if, if, if you are, if, if, if on the other extreme, um, if, if, you're, if your enemy is far superior, try to escape. Соперник гораздо сильнее вас, будьте готовы отклониться от боя. And he's also talking about the first mover advantage. This is a concept of, 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 um, of um, which, which um, uh, Porto also talks about. Есть еще один такой важный момент, преимущество первого шага, первого хода, о котором также говорит Майкл Порто впоследствии. Like in military, the one who occupies a position at first is, is has the advantage Uh, тот, кто первым появляется на поле сражения, имеет преимущество. So if you move, if you are the first with your product, the first one to move into a market, marketplace, если вы первый, кто вышел с данным товаром на рынок, you have your, your, you have competitive advantage over your competitors. У вас уже есть конкурентное преимущество над своими конкурентами. Right. So, so, um, Um, so we have all these, all these, all these terms here, which takes too long to walk through them. Uh, but, 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 you see, but you see, there are certain actions which, um, which, 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 which are recommended in certain positions. It is, it is quite closely related to, to military thinking. Again, very, very popular, like the other, the, the other, um, the other, um, um, the other approach is very popular with, uh, um, with, with management consultants. You don't. If you are come in as a consultant to for to a company, you don't need a particular industry knowledge. You do a, you do a Porter's Five Forces analysis. Then you, you, you out of that you develop the generic strategies. Из этого вы разрабатываете какую-то генерическую стратегию, а вы с указанным есть на доске. Вы пишете отчет. 
right? expensive bill and leave again. Uh, пишите, выписываете очень дорогой счет и уходите. And that's a good strategy, right? <laughs> right? So, so, so this, this is also a model, this is also a model which was, or still is, quite, quite um, uh, popular with, with um, consulting companies. And I took this criticism out of the Minsberg book. So, so this is a criticism of Minsberg towards um, consulting companies. Another, another very well known um, um, another very well known um, 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 model is, is um, this, this yes you can already say famous model from the Boston Consulting Group. Um, probably have you heard about it, Boston Consulting Group? Yeah, yeah I just I just walked to it very briefly. That is, that is related to Porter because it is also positioned, right? That was hyped in that was hyped in um, a lot there was a lot of hype around that in the in the eighties. So here so here we have the growth potential of the firm. And you know this. This is a star. This is a question mark or problem child. This is a cash flow, cash cow. And this is a dog. giving you and this this is a, this the basic idea of this is that you have the, the basic idea of this of this of this model is that you a, a more, a, 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 it is related it is related to the product life cycle right it is related to the product life cycle you know that you have you have you have the star, uh, sorry, the cash cow. This is a product which is already in the maturity, in the, in the uh, which is already in its maturity stage, which does not require a lot of input, but generates cash. Which which um, which um, uh, which enables you to which enables you to finance other activities. So a dog has 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 low growth potential and low market share. Собака находится в очень невыгодном положении. Здесь очень низкий потенциал развития и маленькая рыночная доля. So either, either you, have to, you have the choice of elimination or invest. Hopefully, hopefully to, let it, to let it become a start, right? A problem, a, a problem, a, a, a problem, a problem child is a, is a, is a little better position because the growth potential is high 
but the market share is low. So if you, if you channel resources into this into this area, then you will be able hopefully to convert it into a star. Because the problem child is here, right? It is at the beginning of its it is at the beginning of its life cycle, right? And you don't know exactly now how this thing is going to develop. The star is here. And will eventually become a cash cow. When, when the growth, when the growth is going down, okay? Right. So this is this is the um, the the, um, the, 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 the the model of the Boston Consulting Group, and you can already see it is it is again the positioning school, right? You put you put you put different segments of uh, you, you put different um, you put different um, um, segments of the businesses in different boxes, and then automatically you know what to do. Вы делите свой бизнес на различные сегменты и знаете, какой сегмент принадлежит какому квадрату и заранее знаете, что делать с ним. But now I'm going to tell you an example which illustrates a little bit that this can be difficult. Я приведу пример, который показывает, что иногда это не так просто сделать. You cannot catch all phenomena this way. Um, in, in the 1950s and in the 1960s you had in the American motorcycle market you had like established producers which now have disappeared in the market and one of the higher, of, of one of the producers in the higher, in the higher market share is, uh, which, which still exists, is Harley Davidson. In Japan, you had a company which you still have today, which is Honda. In, in post-war Japan, when when um, when the country was still quite poor, that that company started in in, in, in the national Japanese market. They started. Um, producing low um, low low. Um, 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 how do you say this? With a low, with a little motorcycle, with a small, with a small motor. Um, how do you? <laughs> Fifty cubic centimeter motors, very small motors. Yes. Yeah, fifty cubic. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes, you have, you have the word. You you're all translators, right? <laughs> and and, um, and, um, and and that was that was um, Honda was doing fine in that market because the population was quite poor and they did not have a lot of money at that time. So in the in the time from 1949 to 1959, something like that, in that decade, they really would expand their market share and, and their production. And so they thought, well, now we are doing fine and we have some resources available. We can do an international, we are going to internationalize. And they look at the American market. And then they do what all managers do. They do market segmentation. They look at the at the they look at the at the um, at, at, at the American consumer. And they saw that in America you have much larger distances than in, in Japan. 
Америка страна больше, чем Япония, там больше расстояния. And they drive larger, large motorcycles. И поэтому uh, там используют и популярные большие мотоциклы, на которых вы можете проехать. Uh, which, which можно проехать большие расстояния на больших мотоциклах. И с более мощными двигателями. So they looked at the market, they segmented, and then they analyzed that this is what the American consumer wants. Они они проанализировали рынок и поняли, что хочет американский потребитель. And they designed a motorcycle for the American market. И разработали мотоцикл для американского рынка. And then when they had the design ready, they had the production ready. They sent their salespersons, their salespeople to California. Они когда они наладили производство, подготовили все производство, они отправили своего человека в Америку. И они собирались наладить сети поставок. И на тот момент в Америке продавалось действительно много моделей мотоциклов. And then they made a lot of problems because естественно они вызвали много трудностей для американского рынка. They made a lot of problems because first of all they noticed when they were trying to get into the established distribution networks. И они заметили, что когда они пытались наладить связи с поставками, basically those dealers who were already dealing with with Американские дилеры, они на тот момент уже продавали Харли Дэвидсон. Они не были заинтересованы в японской модели. На самом деле, хоть эти мотоциклы, японские мотоциклы были разработаны специально для американского рынка, но они были дешевле. Они предназначались для маленького сегмента с низким Дилеры не хотели приобретать такие мотоциклы, потому что они бы не приносили так же много прибыли, как тот же Харли Дэвидсон. Допустим, вы дилер, у вас есть магазин. Там стоит ряд мотоциклов, в том числе и Харли Дэвидсон. И приходит покупатель. I would rather want to sell the 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 product, which gives me a higher margin. Конечно, вы захотите продать продукт более дорогой товар. So so why so why should I let 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 dedicate a selling space to Honda when they give me a lower margin? Когда зачем тратить место в своем магазине на мотоцикл фирмы Honda, если он принесет мне меньше прибыли? And then they had they had had additional problems, and these problems occurred because. И возникла еще одна проблема. Они не очень хорошо разбирались в производстве таких двигателей, которые соответствовали бы спросу американцев. И технологические проблемы. Они испытывали и технологические проблемы. These motors which they built, they produce cracks at higher, at higher, at higher, at longer distances. Эти двигатели были ненадежны при определенном достижении определенного уровня скорости. So the motors broke basically. То есть эти двигатели просто ломались. When they were traveling at long, long distances and high speeds. The, the motors couldn't take it. So, so they, made, they made a whole, 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 a host of all problems, a lot of problems. It cost them a tremendous amount of money because they had to, they had to send the defective motorcycles back to Japan. Мотоциклов в Японии. 
И, конечно же, они расстроились из-за этого. Yes. Они изменили. На данный момент, когда они потом уже проанализировали эту ситуацию, выяснили, что это была собака по этой модели. Они допустили ошибку, они вышли с товаром, принадлежащим категории собака. То есть менеджеры допустили ряд ошибок в результате приняли неправильное решение и потеряли большие средства. Мы помним, что собака это маленький потенциал роста и маленькая рыночная доля. They so first they they misestimated the they they made an error when they thought about they could take they could get into the distribution channels which they wanted because they didn't look at the interest of the carpenters. Ah, первая ошибка в том, что когда они пытались наладить все дистрибуции, они не учли пожелания дилера. Yes, and that is the first thing. Это первая ошибка. And the other thing is that they are technical problems. Потом они испытывали ряд технологических трудностей. But this is something I'm going to talk go much more deeper in detail tomorrow, right? Вот я об этом подробнее расскажу завтра. So tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Завтра будет продолжение этой истории. What is happening there? Because there are other things. Почему же так произошло на самом деле? Там все не так просто. Здесь выступает ряд других факторов. But they basically they had a dog, right? Now, what was happening? They were, they, they were frustrated. And the managers, to save money, because now they were going short of money, they had for the manager, for the salespeople from, 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 from uh, Japan, they sent them because they were moving around over town and uh, it was cheaper for them if they used their small motorcycles. What? The small ones, which they use in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And company, Honda, they so they Which was new in America. Nobody had that. Вот, но в Америке мопедов еще не было. Там больше распространены крупные мотоциклы. But these things were fine. And in the weekend, because they were frustrated, then they were going like just for fun. They were just for fun. И после того, как это произошло, каждому менеджеру компании, каждому менеджеру, каждому представителю, который приехал в Америку для того, чтобы заключить этот контракт, наладить эту сеть. В общем, они разъезжали на этих мопедах по Америке. А, а как за счет аналитиков, которые вот, вот, вот допустили кучу ошибок, они ну, не про них неизвестно. Про них неизвестно. Про них неизвестно. Про них неизвестно. А то, что у менеджера как бы... Там, ну, возможно, это история дальше. Ну, я хотела сказать, несправедливо как-то. Я не тоже на самом деле. Почему они все разбежали на этих мопедах? И вот такие вот как раз маленькие мопеды, произведенные под японский рынок, они были удобны, практичны для самих японцев, для менеджеров этой компании, компании Honda. And then, and then on the weekend they were with their little scooters for fun. They were going like doing mud racing. 
И однажды в выходные они устроили небольшое состязание на этих мопедах. Просто для забавы, для веселья. И люди по соседству, американцы, они это заметили. Они никогда не видели такие средства транспорта. Ой, откуда у вас такое? Что это? Компания русская производства. А где можно купить? А сейчас вы не можете в Америке это купить. И каждый раз люди интересовались за мопеды. А мы не продаем их в Америке, отмечали менеджеры. Не только козарила, но люди же интересуются. А давайте попробуем продать вот эти маленькие мопеды, которые изначально были предназначены только для японского мотоцикла. У нас сейчас здесь нет маленьких. Yes, but finally, in the end, they communicated that to the headquarters, and then after a while, after a while, the headquarters decided, well, we might also, because they had problems. Конце концов, было мой офис, до него было донесено, донесена вот эта информация, и было принято решение. They they had problems. They had they had still these problems with their large motorcycles, which nobody wanted. Поскольку Honda по-прежнему испытывала трудности с производством крупных мотоциклов, которые были никому не нужны, и там были технологические проблемы. So in the end they convinced management in Japan to try and sort sell the small ones. В конце концов они убедили японский менеджмент попробовать выпустить пробную партию на американский рынок маленьких мотоциклов. But that was not a decision made on market segmentation. Но это не решение, которое принимается при сегментировании рынка. Получается, это, я сейчас критикую немножко этот подход. У вас есть аналитики, которые сидят изолированно в своих офисах. Это совсем другая ситуация, нежели когда Менеджеры приезжают на мопедах и знают, что есть спрос на них. Они выходят непосредственно на потребителей. Это дает вам прямой контакт с потребителями. И информацию, которую не получит аналитик, сидящий в своем офисе. So, so this is this is something this is something where um, which 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 when what you see what you see what is happening in reality does not really fit into these pictures, right? На самом деле то, что происходит в реальности, зачастую не не полностью соответствует модели этим вот картинкам. But the story is not over. Но история на этом еще не заканчивается. Because now they went, they imported their suit, their 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 small motor motorcycles. And then they went, and, and then they went, they went again. They went to the established distribution networks. And of course, the dealers were even less interested. Because they were nothing on a small thing like that. So that didn't work either. But, but at least they saw they, they, there was probably end consumer demand, but they could get into the. То есть спрос потребительский спрос существовал, они это заметили, но им удалось организовать канал избыта. Right. So so basically basically that that was still a problem that they couldn't get into the distribution network. But what they did in the end, they did. They did. They did. They did use. They did use these these established distribution networks. They all. They started using already existing distribution networks. 
they opened, they opened, they opened up new distribution channels, which, which no, which no motorcycle producer had used before. But to these distribution channels, it was attractive to take in this little motorcycle. Because, because these people, they were earned to lower, to lower margins, and these were sports outlets. You know, shops, shops distributors who, who, um, who, um, who um, sell um, sports equipment. And for them, the margin, the margin which you could earn by selling such a motorcycle, motorcycle was attractive. They, they would say, yes, you get our selling space. You will get our selling space because for, for, for these people it was attractive, right? And then, and then they went, they had a completely different product, they used completely different market um, 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 distribution channels. But that's, that's the way Honda got into the American market. Because basically they opened up a new market segment, small motorcycles. And this is, this is, this is opening up a new market segment, it's something which is not, which, which is, is not considered in this model, right? You see, you see the, you see the, um, it's not a problem, but you see the limitation of, of Porter's, Porter's five forces, and also, and also, and also this model, this model is good for analyzing large existing companies in rather stable markets. But it is, it cannot really, it cannot really apply if you use this model. It, can, it will not give you, it, it, will, it will not give you an answer if you try to analyze the problem, the, 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 the Honda case, which we just talked about. Because if you had, if you had used this, this, and, uh, this, this, this model, right, then you would have seen, then you would have, you would have clearly have said that what, what, what uh, Honda is doing in the, in the market. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.